Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Well, hi. Good evening. How? Uh, Wait, you're, it's afternoon. You're not, yeah, you're not even fucking matching me with energy. You're being a shit. Well. Like, I'm trying to start the show fun and, like, loving and, and excited, and you're just like a brick wall of fucking horse shit. That's nothing new, though. Fine, whatever. You're not I mean, it's, being it's fun. been well established that I'm completely dead inside. So what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but sometimes you can fake it to make it. Oh, God, that sounds like a lot. Oh, uh, you're making this boring already. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> he, has a hor- he, he was telling shitty stories before we hit record. What was my story? About I don't cats? know. You were telling some, something to Dave. You're like, I'm going to tell a boring story. And I think that's as far as you got. Yeah. It was boring I as ran fun. out of energy halfway through the explanation that was the preamble of the story. Anyway, right now, uh, <laughs> I just posted a story on my Instagram. Yeah. With a poster. Of a wedding photo of Jesse and Evan. Yeah, so if you've been listening to the show lately, you know that Evan's trying to make a move on Jesse Wiseman, yeah, Ross's yeah. wife. So we have started a website, yep. freejesse.com. Yeah, it's the free Jesse from the grips of a douchebag. <laughs> 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 and get her a real man. We just think, yeah, we just think she would be happy with Evan. Yeah. Is that it? I it's not know. really, it's not neg- It's not anti-Ross so much as it is pro-Evan. Yeah, yeah, we're, I guess. we're yeah. an even split. Yeah. <laughs> So we got some special guests today here in the studio. Mr. Dan Sharp, uh, I would say you're most famous for the Florida Man article that you photoshopped yourself into. <laughs> oh, most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us about that real quick? Um, so I made a meme that I uh, was in Florida and two uh, female officers get the, pulled get me that over. Mic closer to your mouth, a little, there, little closer to the tip. There you go. Like, okay. cup, those, cup those balls, too. <laughs> All right, so cupping. And so instead of giving me a ticket, I convinced them to have sex with me instead. Mm. And the meme went viral. You had a cop threesome. Yeah. And you had a great looking mugshot, too. Was that a real yeah. mugshot? No, no. I went to Target. I bought uh, an orange V-neck. Yeah. I got a chalkboard. I took a picture in my living room. And Man, we need to do this. Yeah. Yeah. We've I mean, never we, faked mugshots. We, we should have. <laughs> we should just have it's easier than outfits you think. in general. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that went pretty viral. And I had my name and my picture because I thought it would be like a cheeky nod to my followers. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, like, you know who I am. Like, clearly this is false, you know, and something that it's I might me. Do. Yeah, it's just me. But then fucking people went nuts. Like, I was getting fucking death threats and attacks. And, death threats? Yeah. Why? Because they said that I was offending the Me Too movement and that I was so? sexist. And <laughs> I, I would agree with that. Yeah. What are you talking about? I mean, I'm, girls like threesomes too. Yeah, I'm pretty suicidal, so I was just like, "Hey, bring it on! Like, don't make promises you can't keep." <laughs> <laughs> I was disappointed. <laughs> You're All trying talk. public yeah. assisted suicide. Yeah. That's yeah. a whole new concept. There. Crowdsource suicide. Crowd- yeah. Crowdsource, Crowdsource yeah. your suicide. Like, let me commit something so heinous that's going <laughs> to cause people to want to attack me. You yeah. know what I want to do? I want to get a bunch of bumper stickers made that. It's a child predator and put them on all my friends' cars. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> I like trolling my friends. I also like buy random jewelry from Target. Just, yeah. I dug out my neighbor's honor student. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I buy, wow. I buy random jewelry from like like shitty cheap jewelry from like Target and leave one yeah. earring in my buddy's car. Fuck. Oh, so his yes. wife will find it. Yes. Oh, yeah, buddy. Just to, uh, yeah, take yeah. his phone, save <laughs> save random people's really risque names. Or send him a bunch <laughs> of fucking random nudes from my burner accounts. <laughs> <laughs> of the same chick. Yeah. <laughs> That's just wrong. Well, well uh, Dan, introduce yourself and, and your partner that you have brought with us today. Yeah. My name's Dan Sharp. I um, have... Mike Sensi here with me, and we run uh, Pop Smoke Media with the uh, the Smoke Pit Podcast. And so we wanted to come down here and see how the professionals do That's it. Right, pick the brains of the greatest. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, don't be you know. so flattering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all just stuff we bought at Home Depot. Does the hand job happen Home now? Or after? Yeah, because yeah. they have giant signs with your logo at <laughs> right, Home Depot exactly. just readily available. <laughs> they don't have yours. No, not not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're, uh, we're, we're at Kmart exclusively. You right have now? to put. <laughs> you have to put in the. You put in the request. Oh, okay. Uh, and then yeah, it that's takes right. About six to nine weeks. Yeah. Six <laughs> to, nine. to nine. Six yeah. to nine. Yeah. Yeah. And so we um we make a lot of memes and video content, and people relate to the deep dark pain that we have inside, and that's uh that's how we started to get uh, a little famous. What's the source of your pain, Dan? Uh, mainly women. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Mainly that and. 
and uh, being in this forever war that they're like, hey, it's only been win. 18 years. Only been 18 yeah, years. I did. Yeah. That, you've done well for yourself, though, in the women department. Oh, I have. Um, not well enough, though. <laughs> not well enough. It's, it's never enough. It's never it's enough. Never enough. No. <laughs> You yeah, said so something about his sister being hot too, right? Oh God! Oh God! Oh my God. Well, I mean, she she's Ooh. been uh, you know she's been featured on a, a number of the uh, the big you know what is it like Patriot Beauties mm, and GI yeah. Janes, and, Ooh. you know the circle of the mili- You know, there's like there's like eighteen hot military girls, and then they just get re- recycled on <laughs> yeah. every every page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever since like. She was a teenager, and like all my platoon buddies have all been trying to fuck her. Oh and yeah! I'm like, I will literally fight you. You guys have to have one. Would it be worth parent, it, right? Has anybody? Let me ask you this: <laughs> How is she brown? <laughs> she uh, is answer the real question. My mom's Puerto Rican, and we have different dads. Okay, mm-hmm. there we go. There, there, go. there was one different parent. Let there was ask, something uh, odd there. Let I mean, me ask when you she this. turned 18, I didn't care because like she's not a minor anymore. She can make her own decisions. Mm. But like, oh, I was before gonna, she was 18, yeah. I was like, that's fucked. You know, I was gonna ask if any of your buddies banged her and fought you, and if we could ask them afterwards if it was worth it. Worth getting beat up for that. Yeah. I mean, shoot her a DM. Let's see. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's creepy as fuck. Hey, your fucking brother told me this story. Look, I don't want to fuck you to fuck you. I just want to be able to fight your brother afterwards and talk <laughs> right. about it. So this is really just a business. That would be a decent way to bait somebody into a fight, start yeah. banging all their relatives. That's yeah. my goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Donnie and I came up with the concept, the ultimate Eskimo. And we would like to turn it into a movie someday where, mm-hmm. where somebody's friend decides to go on the... the the quest of the ultimate Eskimo to bang you, all their exes, every single one. Yeah, wow, wow. Imagine that. Yeah, well, all three of mine. Like yeah. you'd be done in one day. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be done in I, one day. I like the revenge of banging somebody's mom and their dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, wait. We had an incident that happened uh, in your battalion, did we not? When you guys got home from Iraq, and somebody got <laughs> the mom and the daughter pregnant. No, in the same weekend. Oh they, wow! Both of them got banged. Yeah, one nice. of them, the seventeen-year-old da- her sister, got pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember, I thought they both got pregnant because that would no. have been really funny. Because we were whiteboarding the family tree there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if one if one infantry guy impregnates a mom and a daughter in the yeah. same weekend, what? That's bingo. Like, what is yeah, that though? Yeah. What What is that? It's what white- is that kid? It's white what trash is, bingo. Yeah, but what is the yeah. mom's child relation to the daughter's child? Are they sisters or are they aunt and both. niece? Yes. They're both. They're bo- yes. Yes. They're both. Oh, wow. Yeah. Get you a girl that can do both. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I she only can do have both. the devil's three-way. Like, I refuse to do two chicks because what if I get them both pregnant? And that's what's up, though. Yeah, yeah now you're yeah. like, that's only two you dudes. can blame it on somebody else. Yeah, like, I can right. blame it on Mike. You, you know? can't blame I'm usually there anyway. So. Yeah, so I can just blame it on him, and he's got the child I mean, everybody just has clear. a friend that watches, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a gimp mask, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. in the corner, somebody's got to operate the camera and then be the pit crew afterwards to clean up before. The next girl we need to there. film that commercial. Yeah. We have not yeah. done that Don't, yet. Let's, yeah, we're and not going to talk question about of, <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> okay. How much eye contact is too much? There's no too much eye contact. That's I, what I said. I established dominance by maintaining eye contact the you entire understand? time. Yes. Like if you look away, it means you're gay. <laughs> if you look away, you may as well be getting a money shot from that dude. Yeah, Pretty that's much. True. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Oh, he's that. got a phobia about cum, by the way. So really? if you want to throw some cum uh, jokes. Oh, did you see the video where the camera guy? I didn't see the video. I didn't see the video. Yeah, the dude shot the load. It went over the girl and hit the camera guy in the face. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I actually have seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where your phobia comes from? <laughs> Just that video? No, not no, from childhood. No. It, it was him <laughs> when he was clean shaven. You know, uh, <laughs> Like about 20 to 28 of my buddies all came in a bucket for like a month and then they dumped it on me. It was oh a my surprise. God. That's not true. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Worst birthday a- ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like wanted to recreate Carrie, but in a porno sense. Like yeah, it was yeah, disgusting. Yeah. There's not a lot of blood There was a lot there, of know? tastes in there yeah. that, I, that I wasn't familiar with. <laughs> Mostly asparagus. <laughs> Wait, do you, does your cum taste like asparagus after? No, uh, not at all. So what does it taste like? <laughs> well, how do you know? No idea. How do you know? I don't know. I should start a survey. Yeah, let's yeah, do huh? a let's do a poll on uh, Drink It Bros in the group and ask a woman if she's ever sucked a dude's dick after he had asparagus and see if the cum also tastes like asparagus. Why would that? Why would why would that correlate? What do you mean? It's an enzyme that makes your urine smell that way. So it should. All right, you know, we'll like we'll here. ask, we'll query. I don't know. <laughs> so, how did you get into the meme, the meme game, the creation of an Instagram? Like, what what led you into this? 
Um, mainly it started off, I was, um, we'd have, uh, Marines pass away and I was like the only person who was smart enough to use Microsoft paint to make like a memorial picture so everyone could post it on their MySpace when we got back. Yeah. And then after that, like I'd see something and I'd make a caption. Sounds very similar to my life. Yeah. And I'd, I'd make a caption. It was funny. And I sent it into a page like, oh, this is awesome. I started my own page. It just started growing and growing. And now I can't stop. My name is Daniel Sharp, and I'm an addict. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have an addiction. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> now, really nice. uh, have you have? Are you familiar with the bastard of Kebe? I am. I God, am. Yeah. yeah, he is on fire. He is killing. I it. laugh at least two to three times he's a day. He's killing it. Shout out. Uh, yeah, but he's not that big. He's super. He's yeah. still fairly. Like, small. You mean he's like a niche. small guy? What? Uh, no, just the page. It's still like <laughs> it's still in the mid twenty thousand. Yeah. So but he's not. It's a mostly mid- marine jokes, but yeah. I get them all. Like yeah. they're really fucking funny. He's so absolutely he's not. It. He's not a little person. No, 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 no. He's still an active. No, he's not duty, a dwarf. Active duty marine. <laughs> I, I got what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Man, I didn't. His know page is fucking about. funny. He makes some funny shit. Hey, like, what? and it's just uh, simple stuff. Like, spell it out. It's so got. It's got like a fucking marine holding the duck. It's like ten seconds after the NCO says, "Don't fuck with the wildlife." Yeah. Yeah. That's accurate. It's yeah. just things like that. That's like super funny, like fucked up. Definitely military. What's shit. what's the name of the account? Uh, the bastard of K Bay. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Spell the bastards. K-Bay. It just K. The letter K Bay. Yeah, like because uh, don't they Hawaii. call? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. Is, 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 the is it base in Hawaii? It's, it's Hawaii K-Bay. called K Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Kaneohe yeah. base. Yeah. Nice. I just yeah. came from there. Funny. Very nice. Yeah, and so the the cool thing about it is that it uh, the humor transcends just like one you know battalion or branch or country or whatever. Um, you know, we have people messages all the time from like, you know, England, Australia, Russia. Well, and, and that's something that we've brought up here. Like we are almost way more popular in Europe and foreign countries because yep. really? the military. Well, you got to think about this. The militaries are smaller. Yeah. yeah. Number one. And there's no UK guy, Matt Best. There's no right. there's no there's no one else in Estonia or Latvia or Portugal yeah. or Poland or anything doing this stuff. So it's like. Yeah, Everybody think, that's military looking for military or veteran humor, yeah, they kind of default to us. Right? Like on my Instagram, my second largest city of followers is Sydney, Australia. So yeah. we're going there in June to do like an event. That's awesome. I'll yeah. be there in December. Nice. I'm going to Australia and New Zealand. We should all come up with the uh, DB Australia. Crew. Yeah, there is a whole drink of oh, down under. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know what horrors I banged so we yeah. can be Eskimo brothers. <laughs> oh, when I follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. I'll be like, Just go to this brothel, this brothel. They have those in Sydney? Yeah. Brothels? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that was legal in Australia. Yeah, totally. Well, I don't know if it's legal. I don't know if it's legal. It is. No, I've researched. I had my crew. Executive producer, is it legal? It is legal. It's legal. Wow. I didn't know that. So we're going to Australia. (laughs) Las Vegas? Uh, Well, no, it's not legal in Las Vegas. In Clark County. Oh, yeah. It's Nevada only. Nevada, yeah. Certain counties. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. I I hear you on that. Yeah. So you were in the Marines when? From 04 to 16. Okay. Yeah. Where at? West Coast, East Coast? A uh, bit of both. I did uh, Lejeune, Quantico, 29 Palms, which was snowing there the other day. It was super fucking, yeah. like, yeah, hell froze over. That's really weird. Global warming. Yeah, and then uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. That's and, where you ended? Yeah, that's where I ended in more ways than one. Who were you, recruiting? No, no, no. I was at the uh, I was the range NCO for the Security Force uh, Schoolhouse. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Deployments? Yeah, I did uh, two to Iraq, one to Afghanistan. Then they also sent me to uh, to to do a training team in Jordan, and then also to Jordan uh, is wild, isn't it's a good it? Good time. Well, I mean, just the way the city <laughs> yeah. looks, like like like. What's the the uh, capital city there? I think it's Oman. Yeah, Oman, and it's like, like mass wealth and then mass poverty, like right next to each other. But just the 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 like buildings yeah. after building, I've never seen so many structures just. Like, it's so mind-blowing driving through there. And, like, you go to a mall, and there's goats outside, and Next it looks like a trash dealership. heap. Yeah. And then you, like, walk in, and it's an immaculate fucking mall. And yeah, you're there's, like, like a Wolfgang Puck inside. Yeah. <laughs> How do you Always know a Wolfgang those, Puck. Those might be uh, emotional support goats. They could be. Yeah, yeah, Mike is my emotional support burrito. That's right. Mm-hmm. You're a burrito? He is. That's just what he calls me. Well, mm-hmm. how does that work? Because I because he's uh, warm and filling. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's that was a little sexy even for that's, me. That's yeah. Weird, yeah, yeah. What symbol is on your bracelet? It almost looks like the TACP crest from here. No, it's uh, the EGA and then the United oh, States Navy. On got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's mm-hmm. not a TACP, unfortunately. Hmm. It looked like it from here. So um, <laughs> then, you guys have pushed more into uh, like video stuff. We've done some video, yeah. And are um, you planning on doing that 
Um, honestly, not so much. Um, we're not very good at it. So. Yeah, we're not very good at it. <laughs> and uh, and every time, like I remember, we put out one video, and someone was like, "Stop trying to be like Jared Taylor." And I was like, "Really? Just because like we, we're both like yeah. you know like we Fat. have beards and <laughs> yeah. yeah." I wouldn't take offense to that. Um, <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yeah, and so like you know, you kind of have the the similarities between, and you're always trying to find a gap and exploit it, mm-hmm. like Infantry yeah. 101, find a gap, exploit it. And I mean that applies to more than just the battlefield. Yeah, buttholes too. Yeah, buttholes. <laughs> and right. so, <laughs> is that right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what yeah, we're so we're trying about. to find like what are other people not doing, and how can we do it differently? And so we started our podcast uh, called the Smoke Pit, where it was basically we wanted to recreate the feeling of just like going out to the smoke pit and bullshitting with your boys. Mm-hmm. And we've been very proud of the fact that like we've had people like message us and emails, call us and stuff, saying like, "Yeah, man, like I'm in bumfuck wherever I got out. There's no military here, but I can listen to your podcast." And it's like I'm back with my dudes. You yeah. know? No, that's great. Yeah. And how long have you guys been doing that show? Uh, sixteen weeks. Sixteen weeks now. And how many episodes a week? Two. Um, one, one, one episode yeah. a week. Yeah, one we're episode. not creative. Enough we're not to do creative enough. <laughs> more than one episode. <laughs> we are not on your level yet. Yeah, uh, we uh, we put everything into uh, each episode, and our first yeah. episode was like twenty five minutes long. Yeah, like but it was a glorious twenty five <laughs> minutes. Was literally, me and Dan for twenty five minutes going dicks, 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 <laughs> yeah. dicks uh, and everyone's like, "I like your style." Are you guys <laughs> yeah. getting uh, drunk at all when you do this? Uh, we started to, yeah. but then we uh, we noticed that like uh, you can kind of tell a difference when somebody is like absolutely shit house. <laughs> and when you yeah. know they're they're um, they're actually focused on what they're doing because you think things are funny, but then when you see a video of what you were doing when you were yeah. drunk, you're like, oh god, like <laughs> was that me? <laughs> I mean, that's just the story of my life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what that we've is. We've done fine with with that theory, uh, right, yeah. but we're called drinking bros, so it works. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you 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 will notice as you go on. You know, after you finish your first year and you you listen to you know. Your your fifty fifth episode, and you go back and listen to one. You'll Ooh. see how different mm-hmm. it is once you get used to getting on the show, getting on the mic, and carrying a conversation for a lengthy amount of time. Right, oh, I've noticed yeah. that now. Like I told all my good stories, episode one and two. Now yeah. I'm just tap dancing. <laughs> yeah. <at this> point. <laughs> yeah. Well, we want to hear crazy pop smoke Instagram stories mm. that you turned into reality. Okay. So where where have you gone? Where have you been invited to? What did what nights have turned into just epic fucking either follies or awesomeness? Well, um. I would probably say the craziest thing that happened to me as a result of uh, of that was uh, we got picked up by a news organization who uh, offered me a contract to go to Havana, Cuba yeah, yeah. to uh, to do a story down there. It was kind of like an op-ed comparing my time in Guantanamo Bay to, you know, what uh, the people think of uh, Obama and Trump and and all that in in Havana. And so we get down there and like we were scared shitless because like we don't want to go to, go to Gulag, you know, like it's still it's not like the USSR and, and Russia are different now. No, Cuba is still an active communist country and they do not like journalists. So <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. So we go down there and to my surprise, fucking everybody was super nice. Like there was no crime, super safe. Drinks were cheap. Women were beautiful. The only problem that we have was that the infrastructure was super fucking old because there's been an embargo. And there's a sign that says, don't flush toilet paper down the, uh, the toilet because That's it'll clog the pipes. Most South American countries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so there's a, there's a wastebasket there. Well, one of, our guy, one of the crew that I brought with me, they put paper in the toilet. I'm out on a walk. I'm the only one in the group who speaks any sort of Spanish. And mine is conversational at best. Like, get to point A from point B, stay out of jail. Like, that's it. And so I'm out on a walk. And the, um, the lady sees that. Now, the word for paper is uh, papel. The word for potatoes is papas. And so when my dude was trying to use his high school ever Spanish to explain, like, we won't flush uh, paper anymore, he said right. potatoes instead. And she was like, you are fucking wiping your ass with potatoes <laughs> and flushing it down the toilet? <laughs> potatoes aren't even indigenous. <laughs> like, did you bring a sack of potatoes to my home to wipe your ass with? And then something that loosely translated to capitalist swine dog pigs. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and so I come in and I'm like, she's like about to fucking call like the police. Like we're about to go to gulag. Like, is this fucking cool? Like, she got real. Potatoes. Let me ask yeah. you this. How do you wipe your ass with like, let's say a potato is all you have. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. How, How do, do you, do you do slice it? it? I don't know. No, I think do you I like do put it. it up in there a little bit and twist it? Front to back for yeah. sure. Front to well, back for yeah. sure. I mean, Front to back. <laughs> Potatoes, wow! <laughs> All right, now, now it happens. So I, I you know, I kind of like I, I de-escalate things, and I promise her that we did not bring a sack of potatoes to wipe our ass with, and it was just simple confusion. But it just really just goes to show you, like, how fucking great we have it here in America, because we were like honestly a cunt's hair away from going to gulag for the rest of our life, and then we would have found out we were journalists. It would have been like. 
torture on a ball sack like yeah. day in day with out. potatoes yeah. with potatoes yeah. oh, well God. i mean you know you can get electricity out of those things so yeah okay yeah. they can hook the potatoes up to our nipples yeah. and <laughs> well, what, what about way. stateside you have any parties with a bunch of uh, yeah donnie trees? o'malley is yeah. a wild man oh we know <laughs> yeah i know yeah specifically yeah. And so we went out to I went out to San Diego to do an interview with him and we went out to a club and it was just kind of like a drunken blur. I do remember getting punched at least once, but I don't think I was mad about it, which was weird. Punched where? In the face? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. can't you tell? Like I've been punched many times. <laughs> <laughs> I was not born this ugly, a very my very punchable face, yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but other than that, you know, we I realize that I'm starting to get a little older and like I don't fight as well as I could, so I don't start as much shit. No, yeah, that's probably a good thing. We hosted a Halloween party from scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, uh, we we linked up with a veteran-owned brewery in in Virginia Beach, and we're like, "Hey, can we throw a Halloween party?" And they're like, "Fuck yeah!" And the next thing we know, it was just like, bam, tons of people. It was, and yeah. Use the page, created yeah. flyers, yeah, all yeah. that, yeah. And just to show that you can like um, network with other veteran-owned businesses and do events. And if you're not happy with what's in your area, like make something. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. you have drinking bro. Um, you have drinking bros, Virginia Beach. Yeah, yeah. You have drinking bros people everywhere, and it's like those people band together, and they can't be here in the studio with with we. Like we're fortunate to be, but they can still have that like camaraderie and stuff mm-hmm. together. No, that's awesome. And so, how'd the party go? It was like, fantastic, fucking epic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we were the judges for the costume contest. We had a bunch of like hot chicks and like skimpy outfits, like shaking it for our approval. Yeah, like it's probably the dopest I've ever felt. My father would have been proud. Yeah, very proud. <laughs> if he was around, he would have been proud. That's right. I haven't met him, but I assume he'd be proud. <laughs> he'd be proud. <laughs> He's coming back with those cigarettes That's one right. day. One day. Yeah, so one day. He, your dad left to go get cigarettes and hasn't come back. Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> we can stick to the next topic if you guys want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those cigarettes were all the way in Tennessee and had That's way right. bigger tits. <laughs> <laughs> they got better cigarettes in Throw Tennessee. Throwback to yeah. a Brandon Rogers line. Got to give credit to, to him for that one. Yeah. Back to the greats. <laughs> oh, Brandon. That's so good. where are you guys hoping to go this year? Like, um, well, I got um, uh, uh, Sydney lined up, and then we got a, we got a few big events out in the East Coast uh, with like uh, Strike Force and Burbiz. Mm-hmm. I know I know you guys have been part. You of You know what I events. would? My dream is to perform on a carrier. A carrier? Oh wow! Okay. Yes. Yeah, they so, have the USS Wisconsin docked in uh, in Norfolk. I mean, and if you know have, anybody, we <laughs> yeah. would love to come out and do a full show. Yeah, okay. yeah we're doing yeah. a cruise. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Are yeah. you going? I am you not. probably should. I get seasick. <laughs> it's a Ooh, cruise. It's a cruise. I get though, seasick. Yeah. You were a marine, but I never was on a naval ship. They just kept on. <laughs> they put me on flights to the desert. Marine I got, I got bamboozled. means water. <laughs> <laughs> Worst Damn. marine Is that right? ever. That's right. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Double check that. Yeah. Yeah. I still think you should go. I mean, that's out of Galveston, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, and to think of the content you'll be able to get, yeah. it's your audience. All right. You twist my nipples hard enough. I'll go. Like, All right. I'll use my Navy connects. We'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, make we'll, it we'll make you wear a life vest the whole time. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Just well, pump me full of like drama yeah. and penicillin. Like bring your own medic and just be on Demerol. Doc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And meet Dan Sharp. He's just like, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, gonna, uh, I make the Are memes. we on the ocean? <laughs> yeah. I have to like, pr- like pre-make like 37 memes and schedule them to whole post. I'm going to be worthless that whole trip. Exactly. I yeah. mean, I can imagine that's what it's going to be like. Yeah. We've, I, I think we're picking up another wedding, too. Oh, really? Ooh. After Ooh. this weekend? Yeah. yeah. Third wedding. Wow. Like, hey, what's the deets on getting married? <laughs> yeah, Jared and I are both ordained ministers. I legitimately and he from the internet, so... Uh, so if you were to marry each other, who would perform the ceremony? Mm-hmm. A third party, probably. Right? Yeah. Like, Could you not marry each other? <laughs> like, I don't know, because you have to have a... a Typically on a marriage license, one of the witness signatures is the person who performed the I ceremony. I love how educated about this you are. Like, you I thought know. about this. Like, yeah. he, he, he tried to call you on your bluff, and you nailed it. Yeah, fucking knocked <laughs> well, it out of the park. That's, that's how it goes here. That's right. Jaren's really stupid, so <laughs> he says things a lot, and, like, this whole cod crisis is a fucking, it's nonsense. This is absolutely okay. no. real, by no, the way. It it's not and real. I, you should be supporting me in this <laughs> and not him. No. Like, I'm he, not even aware there was a crisis. Yes, right. not. Cod, it's not a fucking crisis. Cod will be extinct in under two years, so you need cod. to get out. That's you need to get true. out and you need to eat as much cod as you Shouldn't can. Should it be the opposite? Like, should we not eat cod? No, because it's going to be extinct in two years. Like, so no matter you wanna, what. You want to get your fix. You yeah. want to get your cod fix. There's now. no way to save the cod at all. No. No. There's none. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to save it by realizing that they're not in danger in the fucking first that's place. Fair. That's fair. They are absolutely endangered. Yeah. And you know what we've been doing secretly? 
with the Fish and Wildlife game. Who's well, hold we? on. When it's, you say we, who's <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying the United States government yeah. has just been renaming certain species of fish to cod to pretend that they're not disappearing. That is the most American wow, thing Dan. I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> I really love ill-informed that. This that's, subject. that's fine. Listen, I Carlos that. Raphael was arrested oh last God. December, <laughs> December and charged with 26 fish 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 felonies. Fish crimes. Fish crimes. Fish crimes. Yeah. <laughs> and he got he, he, he bikini pled bottoms guilty. Finest yeah. on this. He pled guilty to all of them. Oh, no. And they call him the Codfather. The Codfather. As they should. Yeah. Aft oh, name. Yeah. And he just destroyed the cod population in Massachusetts. That bastard. It's not yeah. that. <laughs> but Canada this year is facing almost the same record lows of cod. I don't think Canada even exists, to be honest. Well, I've I'm a seen Canada. A graph. I'm I've a Canada. Seen the 2019 I, cod I, census no. graph. I was about to say, where's your research coming from? No, I've got I'm, it. I'm, oh, a, wow. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Canada I, truther. I don't think Canada exists. <laughs> Is that a thing? Prove that it exists right well, now. Well, then where did all the Canadian up. geese come from? No, look, up. Yeah. Yeah. I, look <laughs> up. There's a ceiling up, bitch. No, like up, like no. in the top. This is going to be uh, true north or magnetic my... north. I need to know. <laughs> Max, I think we're in a fucking de- delineation. Is there a GM here, right? factor here? Yeah. Like, I think it's negative eight. So uh, <laughs> that's going to become part of my campaign now. Is what? like Canada doesn't exist. Oh, that's no. now your. Can- we need to make our campaign videos today. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready today. And I'm making my. Uh, Oh, hey, Tiny Cod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JT. Hey, so, We're uh, almost all dead. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of weird uh, shit, did you see that news guy that stuffed uh, crystal meth up his ass? What was that about? Yeah, whoa. Did you guys whoa. see that? No, it's just we called didn't. Saturday night, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> crystal meth in the butt. I think it was KTLA or something. Booty bump. Oh, it's called a booty bump. <laughs> oh, wow. Click I news. feel like I've been on this category news, in Pornhub before. Exa- for sure. <laughs> There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, KTLA guy died from putting crystal He would look like that. He doesn't look like a guy that does I agree. crystal meth. I'm not on the opposite. Not in the ass. That's what he looks like. You see his earpiece, like, though? Yeah. We need those. Yeah. This is why journalists are stupid. <laughs> I love there's they a look picture like of Terry Crews right next to it. Like, he had something to do with it. I was like, no, Terry Crews. <laughs> no, he's just judging him. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Man. I mean, that's a strong... Like, we got to save point? that for the news. Yeah, we, we got to save that, that for news, fake yeah. news. I mean, yeah. that's so he was wearing an S and M mask. It says right there, engaged wow. in anal fisting. Okay. Oh my okay. god, damn, that's really, really graphic for a fucking news article. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine well, like, <laughs> oh, hold on, it is Vlad TV. What the fuck? Uh, is yeah, Vlad but TV. still, like something Russian. Probably. If that, <laughs> if that is your last article, it's your photo, and it says was engaged in anal for fisting, sure. like. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, man. <laughs> like, as a journalist, you never make the story about you, and that's exactly. all he did. Yeah. <laughs> what a bum. That's, what his a real, bum. that's his real crime, not stuffing crystal meth up. No. Not show, at all. show me where that's crystal illegal. Meth, you show man. me the rules. Like, no, but like with my Florida veteran thing, there was like YouTube videos and conspiracy theories and new art, news articles and like stuff. People trying to figure out if it was yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and people like swearing up and down that it was, people swearing up and down that it wasn't. So you yeah. can't always trust what you see online. Oh, no you, don't, shit. you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he was part of the 2016 election cycle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been. <laughs> oh, we can't wait for this new one. <laughs> Content for days. By the yeah, way, no. uh, if you, like me, think that voting is pointless, vote for me. Because I vote for me in every election. Everyone. Okay. Like, on every part of every ballot, it's always my own name. Okay. Even, like, local elections? I mean, what, yes. if we, what if we started? What if we got done that all, for years. The big, all the big uh, accounts together and we just did a... A full blown social takeover. Like a just be write-in like, vote campaign. for write in write yeah. in Daniel Holloway. I bet yeah. you too. I hope because, you're ready to be president. <laughs> like, could you imagine like eleven percent? Like, like, Wait, what? <laughs> like the news has Who to say your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like believe it or not, that's how I got into city government. Um, as really? soon as I got out of the Marines, I was um, I was doing some volunteer event, and there was like, uh, we need people to uh, to sign up to run for city council and like committees and stuff. And I was like, fuck it, I'll put my name. Mm-hmm. And it was like a box online. It was like a First available position. I was like, all right, click and I submit. A year later, I get a fucking certificate in the mail saying, come to the courthouse for your appointment. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I walk down there like, yes, you're the on the uh, uh, the city of Chesapeake Science Committee, and you need to come swear your your oath of office. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so I walked in there, hand on the Bible, hand up, and I swore into a four-year term on the science committee. You fucking- What the <laughs> fuck? You're not even a scientist. <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> How do I we get on the it. science committee? We should be on a science no, committee. No, not even science. Signs. Like. Like, uh, like oh, the, oh, like I the thought logo. you said science. Yeah. Science. Yeah. Oh, I thought no. you said yeah. science. Yeah. I wish it was science. 
That'd be I've been trying to be a mad scientist. We should try and get on years. the science committee. Sure. I think uh, we should try to get Gary Busey on the science committee. I think Gary Busey be should beautiful. be head of the Space Force. I feel like oh, he, already, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he already thinks he is anyway. Remember so. Gary Busey in that movie, uh, what's it called, Soldier with Kurt Russell? Yeah, I was just yeah, talking yeah. about that the other yeah, day. You were. Yeah, That's yeah. a great fucking movie. It, it really is. is. Underrated, yeah. I mean, he's got some command experience is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed. I think we hey, test. Dave, we do a test. Catch him yawning right there. It was at 20, uh, 29, 20, yeah. I think. Why? Because we're going to meme that shit. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. It's happening. <laughs> oh, now. dicks yeah. incoming. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't need no dicks. I don't want no dicks. He prefers the rainbow ones. No, listen. Yeah, we do a test bed. We make Gary Busey in charge of a naval destroyer, which I think he did at yeah. one point. Wasn't he? Uh, he's he's commanded a lot of units over his acting Wasn't career. he a, a, a high-ranking naval officer in Under Siege? Or at the very least in his own was imagination. He, was he in Under Siege? I don't remember Under that. Siege 2? I don't, I don't, too, Revenge of the Cook? Even more under, yeah. <laughs> Even more under. <laughs> under Earth Siege. Under Earth Siege. I mean, if you go back and watch 80s action movies, Oof. we can literally recreate oh, them now sure. with our cell phones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking terrible. Like, yeah. Rambo 1 could be shot with an iPhone. We've yeah. said this before. How yeah. fun it would be to roll All right, up to When you to guys Oregon. come to Virginia Beach, we'll yeah. do it. We'll go to the state Down. park and we'll redo Rambo. We've talked about just going to Oregon, to the city that it was filmed in, okay. yeah, and taking Rudy Reyes and reshooting Rambo 1. Oh, that'd I like be it. Who's going to play, play uh, was it Brian Dennehy, the cop? Me. You. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to lose some weight, probably. <laughs> no, he's fat in the fucking That's what movie. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm he's gonna a, have to gain some weight. Yeah, lose some more weight. Hey, get the fuck out of here! He's getting in character. Yeah. No, no, and 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 as somebody who's chubby myself, he is not fat. I will not stand for this injustice. All right, this body shame. Yeah. I will sit for this injustice shame. because standing is just takes my breath away. That's right. Have you been contacted by any f- famous military people, guys from Generation Kill or anything like that that um, follow your stuff? You know what's what's been some of your like oh my god moments? Uh, well, um, uh, Kyle Carpenter just followed me the other day, oh, and man. I visibly gasped. Out loud. Um, let's I feel see like he here. has better stuff to do. I've not met him yet. <laughs> I haven't either. Yeah, he yeah. seems really cool. Seems though. super nice. Yeah. Uh, Clint Romeshaw, Medal of Honor recipient yeah, for the yeah. Army. He, uh, he and I have uh, met each other at a couple events. It was super cool. Uh, Garrett Jones, he's a best selling author on the New York Times, Sunday Times from, uh, from England. Oh, for Wales, excuse me. He's going to punch me in the nuts He will punch you right in the nuts, yeah. yeah. He was an infantryman over there, and uh, he came back and wrote several best-selling books, and he was on our podcast, and mm-hmm. that was kind of like, wow, like this dude actually, like... I. I had like a lot of respect for him as like an author and stuff like that. He showed him he's just trashed and he's just like, <laughs> we're the whores. Yeah. And yeah. His funny accent. That's great. Yeah. Um, we're going to have the secretary of the Navy at the next Burbas event. Um, we met uh, a bunch of cool people at the Vettys. Yeah. The Vettys um, is fun. What yeah. is the Vettys? Yeah, I think it's, it's like the Oscars for nonprofits. They so. keep sending us yeah. like invites and I feel like they're only trying to get me there so they can ask me for money. Well, so it's like, it's like, I see you're not wrong. What's but. funny is like, I, I consistently see different veteran award shows yeah, and then it's like, yeah. Hey, no one called us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you weren't nominated. <laughs> to be fair, I was only three hours away by car, so it was a lot easier to get me there than yeah, you. Yeah. So, so yeah, is it is it nonprofit awards? Yeah, yeah. We, or uh, is have, it like yeah, yeah it's like a um, Betty. It, it was like uh, awards for different categories, like who does the best for veteran employment, for uh, veteran homelessness. Veteran Again, still, wait, 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 there's no phone call. <laughs> <laughs> You've changed your number, obviously. Yeah, no, obviously. We, I ignored all those emails. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so they are inviting, and they're, yes. you're just getting stopped. I will go. I don't want you going there. It was I, a fun. It was a fun. Because you're dumb, yeah. and you're just going to say yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you can't have our company. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come back like I only gave them twelve percent stock. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's vested over three years. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. And I think, but more importantly than like the celebrities and stuff, like anytime, like, and, and, and it's happened a, a bunch more times than I can probably count, but like somebody come up to me at like a bar or at a grocery store and like, hey, you're that pop smoke guy, right? I'm like, indeed I am, citizen. Like, yeah, yeah. Hello. And, well, it'd be hard not to tell since you're wearing yeah. a fucking hoodie with your own goddamn name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What, what's, what logo's on your hoodie? Yeah. It's Black Rifle, bro. It's not my name. <laughs> this is pop That's smoke. not his name. Yeah, my name's not legally Pop yeah, Smoke. It is. Yes. Yes, it, yes, it is. is that, yeah. Can that be the next campaign? Get my name legally changed to Pop well, you Smoke? No, we should just be just violently go. taking his life over to change his name because we want to. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do a makeover. Yeah. Like a full makeover? But like really bad. Like shave his head? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I, uh, I shaved my head um, um, four or five months ago. My hair was like 12 inches long, and I donated it to uh, Pantene uh, Locks of Love. He was waiting like, to squeeze that in here. Yeah, yeah. thanks this for this, this man has this more, for uh, trying now, to high road me. This is, fucking, yeah, dick. <laughs> now this is this is this is the one that yeah. he was hoping that we cut so he could just send this to girls. So like, yeah. uh, hey, check it out. I donate my hair. This they man has did more not plugs. give a yeah. shit. <laughs> more girls plugs than do a not socket. care if you're a good person or if you do charity or what the fuck you do. All they care is if they're attracted to you or not. Mm. That's it. Did you donate your pubes as well? No, those they said are never. They long said they were too. I want to. Hey, we need to go down this road. Let's hear female thoughts from Dan. Oh. So, in dealing with a lot of women who message the page, you generally have three types of women. Oh, people. <laughs> yeah, we got some categories. <laughs> category. You category one. Pen and paper, everybody. They yeah. only want to talk to you because they think you're going to be able to help their career, whether it be modeling or whatever the case is. They just, just want you to having a large Instagram is yeah. now a career. I mean, you can it, monetize is it, it. Is it not? You know, yeah. once you start selling <laughs> products, like we started, we did a product and we sold out in like the first yeah. fourteen hours, something like that. Yeah, I mean, we don't do like like uh, products professionally well, and stuff, but. You but know? you you are a branded page. It's yeah. different than just being a, a single person. You know that's right. what I'm I'm saying. Like yes, that's fair. Productizing a brand, you know, like you have done, mm -hmm. is a very different thing than just random girl who takes gun photos in bikinis. <laughs> that, that's true. And so you have <laughs> category true. A. True. They just want to be Instagram famous, and whether it's for you know self esteem or to like get back in an X, but like look how popular I am now. You gave this up. Whatever the case is, it's category. <laughs> You'll never get this yeah. again. You'll never, gonna You'll never get, get this. this. <laughs> exactly. And then, Which again, let's expand on this because this mm -hmm. is always a funny, a funny thing that I think about. It's like when you do break up, it's always <laughs> they're always fighting you over it. <laughs> yeah. And then and then it goes through a cycle of you know the, she's so glad that it's over now all yeah. of a sudden and then and then it goes to the i'm gonna get back at him a yeah. year later for no reason <laughs> yeah. the fuck like, revenge like, body. why can't people just be like hey we tried it didn't work let's go our separate ways oh cool yeah, yeah. <laughs> now i'm gonna fuck your friend yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be so pissed yeah. well joke's on you buddy yes, <laughs> I, I gave my uh, friend aids <laughs> 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 i had him before you <laughs> yeah so all right that's category, category two eight. yeah Category two, they're lonely. Their shitty boyfriend isn't paying attention to them, so they're going to message you because they know that you're going to respond because you think their tits are nice or whatever. And that's the ones that come to my page, my personal page. Boom. <laughs> Yeah. And so that's that. it, yeah. all the lonely ones. Absolutely. Go to you. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just almost tell me I'm nice. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like block. Yeah. <laughs> and this is almost with like general, like with all, most of the messages you get, people treat you like a free therapist. Like people yeah. message me like, hey, man, like I got paralyzed and I lost my job and my wife left me and I don't have the VA is fucking me over. And I'm like, oh, God, like, how do I help? You know, like, yeah, like I feel obligated to help them because they message me. I'm like, wait a second. Like you can only devote wait, so much uh, of your energy into things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I know. You can't save everyone. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then category three, uh, they legit want to get taken to pound town. Oh, those exist. Oh, yeah. Really? You don't oh, yeah. you don't get those? You don't no. get those? Really? I don't know. I have a hard time believing that. I don't. Really? I really don't. Like <laughs> mm. maybe maybe they're I'll, more I'll in DM your, you later. Your DM requests <laughs> and you just haven't got through them yet. Oh no, oh, I yeah. answer everything. everything. I, I, I I have a hunch. I think I think a lot of some of the girls are intimidated by the females that are around us. Sure, sure. That. Like so I think they automatically assume like, ooh, I don't want to be on someone's story that has you know, two to four hundred thousand yeah. people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, this just happened. Yeah, yeah this literally yeah. happened. Like, uh, I posted a picture of him in a, in a tank top with like a smoke grenade logo. That's why and, we sold out. No yeah, big deal. <laughs> yeah, he was the honey pot. Yeah, yeah. And all these girls were messaging me like, "Oh my god, like the thirst is really so hot." I'm like, "Just message him." Like, no, he'll never respond. He's too popular. I'm like, just message him. <laughs> like, he will cream pie you. Like, if you want it, it's there. Gross. Whether they oh, want what's it. What's gross about cream pie? Exactly. Yeah. God, why would you do that? Is that your moist word? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did we find it? Stop it. Cream pie. I hate it. <laughs> you hate doing it? No, or? I just hate hearing it. Oh. That's like when a couple's like, we're trying to have kids, and you're like, oh, you're cream pieing your wife every night? Thank wow. you. Cool. Yeah, thanks Thank for, telling for telling me that. Hey, when yeah. you, let me ask you this. When you watch porn, do you just skip past that part or what? I don't even get to that part. He's really into vacation porn, so it's mostly about yeah, yeah. just like the setting for him. He doesn't okay. even look at the people. I've been he's watching like, uh, a lot of real estate porn lately. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, good. that's it. become a thing so in the funny. last like so two funny. months. Like, I, I don't even jerk off as much as I just laugh. Like, this is... 
insane. Yeah. I would never buy this house. <laughs> I like the comments. Adjustable rate interest? Yeah, me too. Fuck yourself. I yeah. really like... <laughs> Jack always sends me the best. Jack Mandeville sends me the best links to just yeah. the he, most obscure things on Pornhub. He's like the best one guy was for that, yeah. Stupid Maria got her fat ass stuck in a kid's <laughs> like playhouse from eating too much candy. And it's a girl stuck in the window of a kid's playhouse eating candy. And some guy comes by and is like, oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> and she's like, no, no. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Cla- classic like, Maria. Classic, classic Maria. Maria. <laughs> you gotta love. And then those, Jack uh, would just send that link with no explanation, yeah. like no explanation. How did needed. you fucking find this? So funny. Yeah. It's like I don't have to apologize for this, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is good. This Oof. is gold. Yeah. I mean, I wish you know, I wish Facebook was a little more f- uh, free, where yeah, we right, could, right. you know, we should have a, a, a back end Facebook group where you can openly share funny links to funny pornography. Well, mm. there is the link to share to Facebook on a lot of uh, porn websites. <laughs> what psycho thought of that? Like you're about to just jizz. A dick. Yeah, you're about to jizz, and you're like, you know who'd love this? Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about that before we went on. I finally, you know, we we have mutual friends, uh, males that are in pornography, and. Yeah. Um, Accidentally stumbled across one the other day, <laughs> and it ruined it. It ruined it for me. No, it enhanced it for I me. Quick, no, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I felt I, like I was there. Put it down. You know? <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm like, I, for me, I'm aroused, but I'm also really proud of my buddy. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like anytime your buddy gets laid, you're happy for him. Yeah, like think yeah, about bro. it. Like you're yeah. at the yeah, but hearing him talk like that to her, because I mean, I fast forward. I wanted to check it out a <laughs> like, little what bit. Kind of, <laughs> what kind of psycho listens to porn with volume on? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Everything is mute for me. Yeah, I listen to I listen to porn like and. Frank in the attic of my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With Nazis below you. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like if you're at a patrol base and first squad goes out and they get into a firefight and they come back, you're fucking happy for them. You're like, you get the fucking kill boner. And yeah, then yeah. like you're like, yeah, I'm proud of you. So when I see my buddy out there like banging these uh, these these girls, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Like live your best life. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I stand. Would it be better if he was cream pieing them? I was, no! just, I was just about to say, he's lost friends over cream pies, no! Dan. <laughs> come on, I can't, can't more handle. Like, come in, no, <laughs> hey, oh dear. This man uh, can't even eat dessert anymore. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am proud of him. That's nice, but it's just you know, it's distracting, right? Because you recognize that voice, and you know, yeah. When, sometimes you, when you've been in the gym together, and you hear that. Now yeah. you're hearing it in a different aspect. You're like, oh. The same guy you grabbed a beer with is now just grabbing tits. I yeah, love it. Yeah. yeah. You guys are pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Be proud of your friends, man. Exactly. That's, I'm, I'm about I proud. didn't yeah. say I'm not proud of him. I'm saying it ruined it for me. I had to put it down. And it was an on complete accident, too. Like, it's it's like, oh, this one looks good. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Tony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Tony. God damn it, Tony. How big, <laughs> how big a role does the guy in the porn play whether or not you're going to watch it? Right? What? Like no, when, I like this. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah like that's a good question. If it's some fucking troglodyte, right? Right. Some dude with his oh, fuck, yeah, half skip. his half I'll his skip. head missing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll skip. You know? So, what are you looking for in a man? Is what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Someone well put together. What kind of guy? Less do you, hair. What kind of guy do you Less come hair. to? <laughs> yeah. So you like twinks? Body hair. No, I used Ooh. to have good hair. The head here. hair. Yeah. 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 But you like twinks? Is no. What you're saying. No. 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 I said like filled out. Yeah. Right. So I'm a muscly <laughs> twink. Yeah. No. What? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> trying to find you the perfect someone video. That tans. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to fill out your grinder. Someone that someone right that tans. Yeah. You know, and doesn't have tan lines. <laughs> <laughs> And someone that'll cream pie you, right? Oh, there come is. on! There it is. Oh, there it that's is. awful. Don't knock it till you've tried no, it. Yeah. Well, what has really been pissing me? What it my just kryptonite sounds is? dangerous. All right, I dangerous. have three kids. Oh. Okay, oh, three. Well. Get a vasectomy, you fat turd. <laughs> 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 no, what, what's been grossing me out is all like the uh, faux incest porn. Well, like, dude, that's like the new. That thing. That is the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, but it it's all just shitty titling. It's yeah, like yeah. okay, I can film one video and I can title it. 15 different ways mom yeah. and son you're yeah. like Step these brother. people are yeah. both 24 years old <laughs> yeah. you are not fooling me with this i mean she does a lot of drugs so she looks 47 yeah, right. but she's really only 24 uh, yeah. hey come in here yeah. <laughs> no but that, that, that doesn't enhance the experience to be like oh that's her stepbrother like no that doesn't do anything for me yeah no. like, i'd rather it not be there and i love their dialogue too they're like hey bro what's up sis like nobody yeah. talks like that yeah like yeah. oh yeah. why are you creeping me, me? The you're keys. my brother <laughs> let me borrow the car Dad let me said, borrow the car <laughs> <laughs> Dad said you have to share. He's like, oh, I'll share. And then yeah. boom, cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cream pie. Uh, <laughs> it's just a fucking string of oh. cream pies. <laughs> 
Oh, speaking over of which, over and over just and stop. over. So just our, stop. There's a shirt. Our mutual friend somewhere. was telling me about <laughs> the the scenes he had to do where he's wearing like a military uniform, and yeah. that's like the initiator. Like he's about to go off to war, and so he's going to have sex with his girlfriend. <laughs> Or he's coming home. There's from actually a site, and I forget yeah. what it's called. Can I it's, say it? I remember. You know the site? Yeah, Brick Yates. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, it still exists, Born doesn't it? Born aficionado right here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Brick <laughs> Yates. Do you spell, does it still exist? Spell that out for the audience. Um, brick want... like, uh, like a... Well, like I always thought it was then, Bricky Yates. Yeah, Yates. Like Bricky Yates. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh. Yeah, I thought his name was Bricky, and then it was about him eating. It might be. I could be I wrong. Know. I just know the combination of yeah, letters. Brick and Brick, and then Y A T E S. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's still active, but oh. I know they. I think you can find it if you search it on the. If you search yeah, it, it's on yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 Whatever but I mean, fuck, he yeah. had a site that was like every service, every uniform. <laughs> yeah. But they, they suppose, supposedly they were real military people. Yeah, it'd be like, hey, I'm getting out of the Marine Corps today. I, I just picked up my DD-214. Now I'm going to let two guys bang me. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they would well, start off in Well, then there was like panties. an Air Force girl, and yeah. they'd be in like Air Force PT gear, and yeah. like... They do like PT together, and then they're like, "Oh, should we shower?" Yeah, blah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that was How almost like a. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gift right pie. there, yeah, Ew, and then cream pie. Come yeah. on, just vicious God, cream pie. This is just on purpose. What now. makes a cream pie vicious? Just I think it's the intent, really. Yeah, the intent. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. You can see it in the eyes, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> not like not necessarily the velocity of the cum, but no. I, yeah. I think the action of it is stop is irrelevant. Stop. You like it? Yeah. Whatever. You have three kids. Obviously, you like it. Yeah, you I, you don't pied. hate it. Yeah. <laughs> At least three times. It, whatever. <laughs> Did you look afterwards? No, no I run away. <laughs> <laughs> I run away to the shower immediately and go, Icky! Icky! For some reason, I absolutely believe that. <laughs> it's, uh, there, yeah. I can give you some people to talk to. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to need references. I, I have yeah. references. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. yeah, I think it makes it vicious if like, if it's breakup sex and you're like, yeah, I'm going to get you pregnant so you never forget me. That's Ooh. vicious. Ooh. That's the intent right there. That's, That's the intent. a horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Kids are pointless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if you're making a point with the kid, that would Make, give, give it a point. To life. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. there's no value. That child has a point. Yeah. Otherwise, or no. you're just like, I'm never going to talk to you again, so here's something to remember me by. Yeah. That's more of my style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about my life. Yeah. Yeah, how many <laughs> scares have you had? Oh, what this week? With this or week? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if this Enough. is a normal thing, like you're probably getting these phone calls a lot. I change my number a lot. I uh, no, we legitimately think he's sterile. At this point, there's yeah. cause for concern for me being sterile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same. Yeah, because I've never had a scare. Not yeah. once. I've had a couple scares, but they always turned out to be like, oh, I just really liked your company, so I just want to keep talking about it as long as I can. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. My well, life I've, is my well, life is a shit show. I've I've had a number of women fake pregnancies. And That's what I'm like, saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nope, sorry. Yep. Have you ever have you ever had Show a me woman that pointless fake kid. a miscarriage? <laughs> no. No, I haven't had that. No, we ha- we do have a guy that works here at Black Rifle. He's kind of new, so we're not going to say his name or have him on the show or anything because he's uh he's, he's in- a respectable he's man. Innocent. He's no, innocent. he doesn't he doesn't have a name yet. We don't give people names here until you've been here for 6 months. Oh, that's um, fair. That's fair. So yeah. He had a girl. He was dating this woman, and she faked getting deported to break up with him. That is the I love ultimate that is ghost. Amazing. That's really yeah. good. That's yeah. the ultimate ghost. Yeah. We're in South Texas, so I mean, shit. Yeah. It's like the TSA <laughs> agent that put his wife on the no fly list when she was coming back to the states. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I would do that cool. to my kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry, my kids. Come on, they're on a no fly. Would my kid be on a no yeah, fly? Exactly. List? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that doesn't even add up. No, not at all. <laughs> Oh man! So That's you're living so in Virginia Beach now? Yes, sir. All right. How it's is it bad. up there? Yeah. It, it's uh, it's nice in the summer. And uh, PETA headquarters okay. is up there. Yeah, in Norfolk. We're oh. gonna we're gonna go protest. There. Yeah. Speaking of PETA, if you <laughs> yeah. guys, this will be on the news this week too. Uh, on on Friday. Oh yeah, that's right. On, yeah, our, well, on our news show. But, fake news. Uh, uh, fake yeah, news. Apparently, PETA's got some kind of problem with Steve Irwin. They can go fuck themselves. Absolutely. I mean, they could have gone and fucked themselves before this happened. For sure. But now, for sure. Viciously like, fucked themselves. He's like one of the most cream pie themselves. <laughs> they could. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Today's one of the day episode. I hate this episode. This might be my favorite. Dog food. After this, <laughs> like canned dog food, or yeah, dry, I like dry. the can. Like like Alpo, the, Alpo, yeah. extra wet, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, extra wet, like a cream pie. There, oh. it there, I knew. I didn't want to do it. It was low hanging fruit. There's, but, uh, yeah. It's all low hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so like he's like one of the most beloved characters of all time. Yeah, I know. And yep. they why go after him? Because they're are, they're not smart. Yeah, yeah. That's actually I part mean, of the reason again, we're like, going to Australia is to punch a stingray. Yeah, you yeah. Know, in yeah. revenge, that's a that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. 
We should start a campaign to make stingrays extinct. Yes. They can re- fuck them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I are mean, they? They're like kids. They have no value. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody was like, uh, Steve Irwin would love Stingray still. And I'm like, I, you cock my machine gun. And I'm like, well, Steve's not here anymore. Because exactly. Yeah. Just you shooting into the water. <laughs> yeah. Cuts to a pile of computer generated dead stingrays. <laughs> yeah, can we do that? I mean, you're really I mean, good with graphics. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I had said uh, long before this was ever even a thing, like 2008, 2009, we used to joke about feeding a trash bag full of cats to an alligator in support of Hillary Clinton running for president. <laughs> like, and that being like a camp, hey, in support yeah. of Hillary, you know, we support Hillary. Yeah. Here's a cat alligator. <laughs> <laughs> We're, I mean, that's, you're feeding an animal to another animal. That's right. not too bad, right? Because you're, you're, you're providing, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a great kind of, there's, Honestly, <laughs> my biggest problem with it is it kind of sounds like socialism. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you're giving the alligator yeah, free cat no. snacks. Yeah, I, mean, right. <laughs> I think if the trash he bag, hasn't, he hasn't done anything for no. you for those yeah. cat snacks exactly <laughs> i think if the trash <laughs> bag is made out of hemp or it's organic and then you could really get some traction there yeah you know Ooh. there would be a lot of like a lot of i don't i don't know if people would know where to outrage on that one mm-hmm. no they're like oh uh <laughs> and we should start doing things like this oh where yeah. it's like confusing as well, to where you stand <laughs> no this, so you know? that's just that's, my life you know yeah, like yeah. that's one of the things that hunter thompson said and fear and loathing in las vegas he said we've gone we've done so much fucked up shit that our only hope is that we, we've gone so far that no one in authority would ever believe we actually did it <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's how i live my life nuke the gay whales for jesus that's yeah. right yeah <laughs> absolutely wait are there gay whales? <laughs> not you, I don't know. Can not you anymore. Imagine, can you imagine There's rolling up on two whales? Well, weren't sure. we joking about like tr- creating fucked up petitions, like <laughs> sending uh, whales to the f- uh, gay whales to the uh, what do they call that conversion? Pretty, yeah, the conversion gay therapy. Gay whale, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> to get people to sign it. Like, wait, what? That's You're doing awesome. what? That would That's have been awesome. perfect for Steve Irwin. He could have like yeah. gone down Absolutely. there and accomplished it. If anyone could have, it would have been the crocodile. I hunter. would love to watch two male whales. Sixty. 69. 69. 69. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Actually, I can. It'd be amazing. I Jared, can't stop. Can, like you, can dicks, you make that? I can't they're, stop they're thinking about it. have to be yeah. like 40 feet long. I don't know. I don't know. They got to be fascinating for sure. Yeah. Like you could take a long walk on a, on a whale's dick. Maybe like a blue whale. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on. We're looking at whale dicks right now. Right. Size. Uh, 12, 12 inches. 12 inches. That's wow. it. <laughs> fucking that Rod, Jeremy I, and blue whale. I, right. I don't know why I was so shocked, but it doesn't seem right. Um... Mm. In Look diameter <laughs> and ten feet in length. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wow. Did you read that? <laughs> I'm a marine. I don't uh, read things. Exactly. <laughs> Somebody read this. <laughs> Some oh, come read this. Oh god, we were like, we were all disappointed. I'm like, holy so shit! Yeah. Yeah. The retracted penis curves in an S-shaped. Loop. It's like a fucking garden hose inside of his body. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Well, when it's ten feet, dude, yeah, yeah, you got to put it somewhere. Where are you putting it? <laughs> not Anywhere it you under want. the belt. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a ten foot. Penis, it would go anywhere I want. Let's see this thing. Oh, you'd need a wheelbarrow. Well, it's a whale. I'm so. gonna need pictures. Oh, yeah. this is this is certainly they've oh, caught a whale fucking before. I want to see. Va- well, they have wh- to. Yeah. I want to see vacation yeah. whale porn. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Like two uh, whales, <laughs> Jack Mandible. If you're listening, do, yeah. whales <laughs> take vacations. Uh, they have mission to. just to fuck, really. Yeah, uh, that's odd. I bet that's you Jack odd. could find it if anyone. Yeah, or Jack can animate it for us. We've got Photoshop. so much good stuff for the news yeah. this week. By the way, did yeah. you see Ja Rule at the Milwaukee Bucks game? I just oh. saw that. I Holy just shit. So what did he funny. do? Yeah. So funny. He was going to perform for '90s Night or whatever, and the crowd was silent. You're kidding yeah. because of Firefest. Yeah. <laughs> well, probably. Yeah, and, they, and just shitty music. So the crowd just was like. Like he was like, "You guys ready?" and put the mic out, and I was like, "Crickets." You could literally hear no. people breathing. Yeah, that, it's has rough. that ever happened? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe if Hitler threw a concert. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He held well, pretty big. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Hitler out of Germany. Oh, fair um, enough. Fair enough. Yeah. What's my motherfucking name? Get the fuck <laughs> off the stage, you idiot! He wasn't even heckled. It was just silence. Yes, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, I have to watch this. Now it's rough. After we get off yeah, the show, it was like who, who shows up to be silent? Like what? What else was going on? It was a basketball game. Oh, so the halftime okay. show was him, and it was like. Uh, and you know, every single person watched that Netflix documentary. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I did. Well, oh, yeah. Like fifty you million people it? watched. No, it. I didn't. Oh, fascinating. God, that's fascinating. Literally seventy yeah. percent of their fucking yeah. subscriber base. <laughs> Everybody watched. Now, it, so. See, I'm part of a new generation that gets all of my information from memes yeah so yeah. i look at the memes in a thing and that's how i make my opinion <laughs> that's where i get my news do you uh follow shithead steve yeah, i think i do that's a good one shithead steve that's a good one, one. Yeah. that's my faves 
Nice. They, like those two are those two are amazing. Yeah, that they're the guys that uh, created people doing things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So like drunk, okay. drunk, yeah. drunk yeah. people, old people, people, kids getting hurt. Yeah. 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 Kids yeah. getting hurt. I love that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think combined, they probably have like forty million followers. I mean, oh, obviously, they, yeah. there's a lot they've of dudes. They've got all close the to like forty to fifty pages that they're, yeah. that they're running. It's so, amazing. Very smart guys. We got to get them on the show because we got to do yeah. a drunk people yeah. doing things show. <laughs> so, uh, yes, where can people find you guys? Uh, Pop Smoke on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I have Pop Smoke Official on uh, Instagram. And then we have the Smoke Pit as well. YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, iTunes. Anywhere podcasts are, yeah, I believe. Pretty much. Yeah. Awesome, and if girls would like to, uh, oh yeah, have you I'm at M Cincy on Instagram? Just spell that, <laughs> just the letter M and then S E N C Y. All right, yeah. So yeah. yes, if you're out there, you're a single female, and you want a guy to spend four hours with you and never talk to you again, More, four three, hours, th- three and a half, yeah, three, <laughs> that's generous. Yeah. Down for one taquito, yeah. one Bud Light, and then <laughs> if things aren't going, <laughs> whatever they're paying, I'm for. getting out of here. Four right, hours. Yeah. Is she a playmate? Yeah, like, right. Yeah, we're talking more like five minutes. <laughs> Well, like he orders girls like Grubhub, like they come in, service him, and they leave. Yeah. I kind of want to eat taquitos yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, I'm down for some taquitos. Yeah. Some. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Well, thank you guys for joining yeah. us Thanks here for in San us, Antonio. Yeah. Uh, make sure to check out their the the Instagram is definitely freaking entertaining. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, hit their show up, the Smoke Pit mm-hmm. for Dan Holloway, Jared Taylor, Dan. Sharp. Sharp. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you've got me fucked up now. I want to call him Dan Pop Smoke. Call him, like, we need to change his fucking name now. Call him Dan Cream Pie. Yeah. No, no, that's that's, him. that's that's yes, my Mr. 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 Cream CP. Pie How are you? Yeah, <laughs> Mike CP. How that's are you? you should change your Instagram to that. I, I might after this. Absolutely. Just, yeah. I bet. Yeah. I, come on, Mike CP. Official. I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've we'll, discussed we'll it with my mother to yeah. hold your other handle, <laughs> right? So okay. we can get back when you whenever you want it. Uh-oh. That's fair. That's fair. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Drinking Bros. Hey.